What's up, everybody? This is DJ Endo, and right now I'm going to show you a handy little trick for doing Ableton mixes. Now, a lot of you might like to do your DJ mixes in Ableton rather than doing them all live so you can actually arrange your tracks beforehand before you actually do the mix down. Uh, one problem I've always had with Ableton is that it doesn't have a built-in auto gain. So when I throw my tracks in Ableton, they're all different volumes. Uh, one thing I like about Traktor is that Traktor actually has an auto gain. So when I go to my Traktor screen, I'm just going to start loading tracks into the decks here. And when I load the tracks, watch the gain knob inside of Traktor. See how the gain just changed to negative 0.6? Basically what's happening is Traktor is normalizing each one of these tracks so when I play them out, they're all the same gain. If you don't see this happening, you might have to turn on Traktor's auto gain in the preferences. To do this, click on Preferences, Mixer, and then turn on the checkbox for Set Auto Gain when loading track. This is very handy because if you're playing, you can set the gains to all the same level on your Pioneer DJM 800 or Allen & Heath Zone 92 mix or whatever you're using. So for your whole entire set, you won't ever have to touch the gain. Now there's actually a column in Traktor's browser where you can see what values Traktor has to change the gain to in order for the track to be normalized. If you don't see this, you can control click up into a blank area at the top of the browser and choose the option for analyzed. Now you can see in this column that it's saying the auto gain values for all my tracks. Now since I'm doing the mix in Ableton, I'm not going to want to keep going back and forth from Traktor to Ableton. So what I can do is actually export this playlist as a web page, which is an HTML file so I can reference all the gain values. To do this, I'm gonna control click on the playlist and say save as web page. And I'm gonna uncheck all the stuff that I don't need. The only thing I'm gonna show is artist, title, and analyzed. And then I'm gonna set the destination for where this file is gonna be saved and choose the desktop. And I'm gonna check open HTML after export. When I hit okay, Traktor is going to give me this HTML file so I can see every track that I'm using in the mix, the artist title, and then I'm going to see what the auto gain values are. So when I'm in my Ableton view, I'm going to click on a track here. This is called Robot. And I'm going to set the gain of the clip to what Traktor's auto gain is set to. So I'm going to go back to my list here. I'm going to find Robot. Traktor says the auto gain value is negative 0.6. So when I go back to Ableton, I'm going to change this clip value to negative 0.6. And then I'm going to click on the answer. By default, is the clip value is set to zero. So then I'm going to go back to my list from Traktor. Search for the answer. Now Traktor says I need to boost this track by plus 2.2 dB. So I'm going to go back to Ableton and change the gain of the clip to 2.2. I always use complex pro mode because that's the best sounding. So now when I play these two tracks together, they're both going to be the same volume inside of Ableton. Now I'll fast forward a little bit so you can hear the two tracks playing together. So this is a handy little trick if you own Traktor and Ableton and you do DJ mixes. Thanks for watching. This is DJ Endo. And for more tutorial videos from DubSpot, check out DubSpot's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash DubSpot.